Hey, welcome to the Spit a Swab Beer with you. I'm Jammer. That's Jammer. And I'm that, Shag Dog. Yeah, that's Shag Dog. And we're doing S Sam Adams. It's our summer fiasco. Ten summer year fiasco, anniversary. Yeah, summer fiasco, ten year anniversary. Uh, I don't think we've done ten summer fiascos, but I'm sure there's some in between there. Sam Adams cap for all you cappers. And on the inside it says, cheers. This gets a 77 by Beer Advocate. Samuel Adams Summer Ale. It's a citrus wheat ale. According to them, according to Beer Advocate, it's a wheat. It's an American Pale wheat beer. Okay. American Pale. It says wheat beer on Beer Advocate. Well, I'd say wheat ale. And it says right here, this this bright citrus wheat ale is summer uh, in a glass, bursting with orange, lemon, and lime peels. Summer ale finishes clean and, which is, and subtle with grains of paradise, which accent the crisp wheat character. Iconic and refreshing summer ale is perfect for any summer day. And it's 5.3 ABV, it's a se uh, or seasonal, yeah, so it's part of their summer. It does have a bright orange lemon look, you know, yellow lemon orange Yes, look. it does, Jeffrey, yeah, yes, it does. Ugh. And I, I can smell it before we even get to it. And it yeah, I smell it. I smell the citrus. Mmm, not my favorite. So it smells summer. It smells citrus, <laughs> lime, yeah, lemon, and a little orange. Mmm. Yeah, citrus smells. You know, citrus oil, citrus yeah. smell. Yeah, a little orangey. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the wheat. I mean, I. You know, you, you talk about the grains of paradise and, and the wheat and all that stuff, just in general. And there is a smell to it. You know, when you smell them, you know, like that. It doesn't usually come out real big and bold or anything, and it yeah. doesn't come out big and bold to me on this either. There's something in there called the grains of paradise. Yeah. Is that a hop so or something? You didn't get much of a head at all. I got yeah. one that quickly dissipated. I gave it a 45 degree pour. So all the way? That's not a very much good a, pour. Eh, all the way until I got about halfway. The camera says that's not a very good pour. Hey, all right. Thanks, people. Thanks for backing me up on that one. Oh, we're doing that now. <laughs> all right, let's get started. All right, let's do it. Not too crappy. Not too crappy. <laughs> um, it's kind of bland, but with a, a little bit of a citrus you hop. You get a, like a citrus bitter, citrus hop bitter, and then it just blands out and mellows out, smooths out. Yeah. What kind of mouthfeel do you say that is? Because it's pretty clean. Yeah, pretty clean. Chris. A little bit of a, after you, after you swallow, a little yeah. bit of a, what do you call that? After you know, stickiness in your mouth. Yeah, like, stickiness. Not a lot, but a little bit. Yeah. But for the most part, it's pretty clean. Yeah. Clean, refreshing. Not a whole bunch of flavors, but. I'm picking up the lime more than anything. The yeah. lime pills. Maybe a little saltiness in there, too. See, the, the, the bad thing about lemon and lime in general and grapefruit too yeah is once you put that lemon or especially lime and grapefruit once you put that peel in there uh, that could have killed some of the other stuff that, that like just goes shoots to the forefront most of the time yeah. that yeah. grapefruit and it just kind of uh, causes everything else to either disappear or get in the background yeah and there, it's like i'm the star of the show get in the background check up right now, with summer beers, I mean, I don't mind these summer beers for being uh, summer beers. I prefer to have a nice lager, you know, nice light lager, even in some German. Well, we do have a lager summer. coming up, Shag Dog. That's good. German lagers are good in the summer, Hefe yeah. or Hell's Lager or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, I tell you, the one that's, uh, the, that, golly, what was that called? It's the German one that tastes like uh, it has a grapey, viney taste. The Kolsch. It's a Kolsch. That, that's a good type summer yeah. kind of beer. What was the name a of Kolsch. that one? Even the one we did last time, right? Reisendorf or whatever. Reisdorf. Reisdorf. Yeah, that's a good kind of summer. Yeah, that's a good one. I think a good uh, Dortmunder too would be all right. Yeah, I've only Dortmunder. had a couple of Dortmunders, but mm. I like to have more. You had more than what you think. 
Yeah, I mean, offhand, I'd probably think about four or five, maybe. An actual German one is probably only about two or three. What is that, Hebe? Like heavy yeah. feet? Yeah, heavy? I guess. It's, it's like heaven. <laughs> Hebe. Yeah. Huh. Not too bad. I mean, what can you say? I do think Samuel Adams has gotten better over the years on some of their stuff. Yeah. Uh, and I appreciate them a little more. This, the girls are, might like this one a little more than the average man, maybe. I don't know. It's not sweet enough. Most girls That's like true. something sweet. Girls that like beer, but that are beer fans, but yeah. like a little bit of citrusy, yeah. Like the type of girls that drink a Bud Light and throw a lime in there. Well, you gotta do anything you can to kill that taste. To put a lime. That's probably why the person I know he puts a lime and he drinks Bud Light puts you know, a lime. I, in. I, 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 I really get on Anheuser Busch, you know, with the Budweiser and all that. For what it is, it's a mediocre beer in comparison to other beers of that style. Yeah. In that category. In that segment, I, I don't know about the on Bud that Light level, but the regular Budweiser out of a bottle to me tastes pretty good, actually. See, I don't. I wouldn't say it's the best one, but compared to Bud Light, it's not bad. I'd rather have Bush Light. Yeah, but Bud Light, I'd rather have regular Bud. Yeah. In the bottle, pour it in the glass, probably not. Yeah, much. but I mean, just in general, I'd rather have a Bush Light in comparison. I'd rather have a Keystone Light. Yeah, I've had had a bad batch of Bush Light one time where it almost tastes like tr the smell of trash. And you can get it, yeah. It probably came from the Newark. It gets abused Newark or whatever, abused. you know. It smells like trash up in Newark. It gets heated up. At least it cool down it. and all that stuff. It gets out of date. Yeah. And of course, yeah, I didn't bring the vintage ale that we had. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. we're aging it. Yeah. We can let that go how many more years? I don't know. Five. Oh, big treat. Shag Dog has some Bloody Mary mix from St. Patrick's Day. We're talking about uh, aging that a year and then oh. trying to drink it drink like that. we did with the eggnog. Yeah. Uh, I think that will be a great episode, hopefully in some, the future. Tomato with... About St. Patty's Day next year. Because it doesn't have alcohol in the Bloody Mary mix. It's just tomato with spices and shit. No alcohol in it. At least with the eggnog, it's got alcohol in it. So. Okay, so what we could do is go ahead and mix the... Bloody Mary. With the eggnog? With the, no, no, well, now you're really getting crazy. A bloody egg. Yeah, what? Well, hey, that might actually be pretty good. I, I tried some tomato juice one time with a uh, fire, not fireball, but there's some shit back in the 90s. I forget, it tasted kind of the same cinnamon, cinnamon hot cinnamon shit. Mm -hmm. I forget what the hell it's called, but I tried to call it a fire Gold tomato. Schlager? No, it was uh, another cinnamon type stuff, but I don't know what it Gold was. Gold cinnamon. No, it was like, almost like fireball hot mm. cinnamon, hot, like a hot ball. Mm. It was called hot balls. I don't know. No, yeah, that was you, fire. Fire you tried it. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mixed V eight with that shit. Tried to call it a fire tomato. It, it didn't taste too well. Cinnamon with tomato. Yeah. yeah. Maybe eggnog with milk, milk and. Well, you figure it'd make it creamy. Ugh, it might taste horrible. Right? Tomato with. No tomato. You know, put tomatoes in uh, in different sauces and stuff. And so you, you, you chopped up tomatoes and Alfredo sure, sauce. Sure, you get a salad, you got fruit in your salad with tomatoes. Mm -hmm. You got some fruity little toppings or whatever. Well, the tomatoes is a fruit. Yeah. But it don't taste like a fruit. Yeah. Especially when it's cooked. But you don't cook too many fruits, though, huh? Yeah, you do. Okay. Apples, apple pie. Well, yeah, but I'm talking about like cooking it for other meals. Yeah. Apple sauce. Yeah. But there's nothing apple hot. Butter. You don't have hot applesauce going pasta, you know? Apple butter. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> pasta is a bread, but so guess a, what? Applesauce maybe, on toast. How about some hot pumpkin sauce? Apple sauce on, on pasta, biscuit. You know? Some hot pumpkin sauce on pasta. That'd be good. Yeah. yeah. Mush up some zucchini, right. hot zucchini. We've gone completely off the subject of the summer ale. So, what do you think of the summer ale? Summer fiasco. Uh, it's not bad, it's not great. I'd give it a B minus and a swallow. Yeah, I think I'm just... It smooths out as the more you yeah, drink it. Yeah, it's easy to drink. It's not And off it is a kind of summery. Yeah, it is summery. I was leaning towards a B, but really... 
after the bitterness. I just don't like that bitterness. In a summer beer, I don't think that bitterness should linger. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I think in a summer beer, it, it needs to be crisp, refreshing, light. Mm. Which it is all those things. But not it's, very light. But, but it's bitter. A little bitter. It's not real bitter, but the... It's for, a, bitter. for a summer beer, you think something's going to be cool and refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. And it is, it, it's for the most part that, but I'm going to give it a B minus because it's just a little more bitter yeah. than what the, and it's not even a bad bitter. Okay, so you guys out there that yeah, it's are not like a, uh, bitter hounds, you it's know, not a hop head you want bitter. to get that bitter taste and everything, hey, this is not going to be anything exciting to you because it's going to be very light, but the, the bitter is just there enough to annoy me. Yeah. <laughs> right. In my opinion. You know what I mean? Hey! All right. Good, all right. So this is our summer fiasco, 10-year summer fiasco. You know, you know what? We went live on that shit. Well, that's fine. Uh, I thought we were recording. No, well, that's fine. I don't think we had any comments, though. Yeah, this is our summer fiasco, 10-year anniversary. The last time uh, we did the summer fiasco, uh, well, we started. Yeah. We started at my house, or my, my parents' ago. house, and uh, we're over at uh, Shag Dog's parents' house yeah. in, uh, for the 10th. Awesome. Right, we wanted a little pool, background, yeah. make it feel like summer. Yeah. At my place, there's no just dread and misery. <laughs> dread and misery. That's pretty bad. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so uh, we're, we're excited. We're, uh, we've got plenty of beer. To go. Well, I'm less than a block away from my parents' house. I can come over anytime I want. I'm yeah. really less than a block away. Yeah, I really less than a block away. All right. But, uh, hey, let's do it. Let's get on uh, the next beer, Shag Dog. Drink up. Yeah, I gotta finish that camera, right? Yeah, no, of course. I and mean, we didn't have that rule until, like, after the second year, maybe? Oh, uh, it, yeah, because you would drink most of the time on, on camera. You yeah. Kept it. Up, you kept up. That was my thing. Man, I didn't drink him as fast. Yeah, you forced me to drink fast. Well, I drink faster, and you drink slower. So we both digressed in one way or the other. Yeah. Now there has been times we go to the bars, and I'm drinking fast to begin with. Yeah. And then all of a sudden I'm going slow, and you're you're still going. Yeah. Most of the time it's me that goes yeah. fast to make. I, I used to love when we had a third person for pictures, and you. You didn't do it all the time, but occasionally you're like, oh, no, it's your, it's your buy. <laughs> He's like, skip yourself. Oh, no, it's yours. I got the last one. <laughs> when you did that, I think you tried doing that to Diddy once. You're like, fuck, no, fuck that. Uh, that wasn't so true. You exaggerate that because uh, I did it maybe once or twice just because, uh, uh, what's his name? Chaz? Chaz sometimes would skip out, but Chaz was always wanting me to buy, even well, though it wasn't he, my turn. He stopped drinking when it came back to him, mm -hmm. like the second pitcher. We all bought like two pitchers. If we started, he was third. He's oh, okay. I'm done. Well, it doesn't matter. It's your turn. Had, yeah, of That's course. What, of course, he'd come in with beers in his pockets. Yeah. Said, Do you? That's what kills me about that. He would try to throw it on me, like he, it, yeah, I didn't buy, and it was him that wasn't buying. Yeah. But. Give him credit. He's the one to talk to us into buying pictures. I think, right? Because we used to buy bottles, or was that you that talked to us into buying pictures? I can't. Because we used to buy bottles all the time. Like, buy pictures would be cheap. End up being cheaper, yeah. Well, yeah, until we found out it gave you the shits. Right. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was good for a while, but then it, they didn't clean the lines. Man, they started not cleaning the lines. I think they got some crappy bartenders or whatever. Mm -hmm. Back, what do they call those? Well, guys? I wonder how bad. Uh, Cheers is suffering now because oh, the new hot spot is the Crystal. That place sucks. That too. place is packed. Is it packed? Every time I go to work in the morning, it's packed. What time you go to work? You know what time I go to work in the morning? Early? Yeah. It's packed, huh? It's, wow. it's, How can you tell? The parking lot's behind it. I know. I drive that way. Oh. I I've been there once. I just don't like the crowd that goes in there. It's the same old crowd, pretty much still, yeah. But then again, there are more crowd people that are around our age, like in their forties and fifties, instead of the young ones that are going to Cheers, I guess. So, but Cheers has become a real, real school of hot, you know. Yeah, you got. It's not. It's not anywhere near what it was in its heyday. No. 
Now you need uh Even Norm would have said, fuck that, I'm going to... Right. I'm, I'm going to go home to Vera. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Cliff, I'm taking you home. <laughs> you can keep Vera busy talking. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I mean... Anyway. Anyway. Anyhow. Moving on. This has been another exciting episode of the Spitter Swab Beer Review, our latest edition of the Summer Fiasco with Shag Dog right. and Jammer. I hope this video came out really Yeah. It'd be awesome. I probably should have checked that. Alright, we'll see you in the next one. Summer Fiasco. Yeah. Take care, guys. Shag Dog, yeah, push the button.